All right, we're starting off with this straight line. So we're going to download AI 1-3. Let's see where it is. Nope, that's the long way. AI 1-3. So we have that open. This is um, a long project. Save it as straight lines 1. Had to throw on my little Uzi Vert. I got hype over here. All right, so straight lines, we're just tracing. That's all we're doing is tracing, and we're using something called the pen tool. Let me save it. I'm going to pause and I'll get right back to you. All right, so I saved it as straight lines one. Um, you should do the same thing. It says choose the essentials workspace. I don't think we have that. So go to window, workspace, and it should say essentials. Your tools um, and options change on the right-hand side. The tools don't change on the left. These are different sections. We want to use the zoom tool. So you're going to click that zoom tool one time. And it says you're going to click. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. It says click in the upper left hand corner of the first section over here. And drag it over and down so that you're drawing an imaginary box over here. And now this is in the full of our screen. So we have that set. Click your selection tool to get off of that zoom tool. It says click view and new view so we're creating views for this I need you to go ahead and save the screenshot as well to see all your views so we go to view and you're gonna click new view you're gonna call this view yellow and your initials you know I'm hype about the initials yellow underscore your initials that's that view um, you're gonna click this hand the hand is over here the hand and click over here to allow us to move down all right, this is our next view. We're going to go ahead and create another view. So view, and we're going to go to new view, and we're going to call this thing pink. Um, yeah, pink and your initials, sorry. That hand is still selected, so we're good. We're going to click and hold and drag that down until we have this green section. And it's just two diamonds over here keep that on your screen we're gonna to go to view again and we're gonna make another view and that is called mint they want us to call it mint underscore in your initials then click OK all right you're gonna to need to scroll down so click view and take a screenshot of this so I can see this going on your views are integral so that is one of the things you're gonna be graded on five points next up we have um, the pen so you're gonna click that pen tool it says open the swatches panel, then set the fill color to none, then the stroke color to black. Uh, got some feedback going on. Oh, that's his little, that's, that's Uzi's motorcycle, my bad. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch back to, you're going to click view. We have the pen tool over there, then it says click view, and we're going to go to the yellow view, so it zooms us to yellow. Over here, we're going to switch up the stroke and the different things we were talking about. So it says open the swatches, set the fill color to none. We don't need to open swatches. Over here, it's the color. So fill, you're going to click that once so it's active. Then click that red with a line through it. And now we have no fill color. Click the black for stroke. Your black stroke is um, set right now. And the stroke point or the stroke weight is one. So we're all set have that pen selected and we're going we can minimize this or collapse that window I don't even know a little yachty like that but he's coming up next we gotta finish this video in case he's whack alright so we're gonna use figure four this is our figure four excuse me we're gonna go ahead and trace this so you're gonna click um, on position one one time it makes a little dot right there so that's cool you're gonna um, release your mouse and then you're gonna go to point two and click that right there fantastic then you're gonna go up top to three and you're gonna follow all of this until you get to position four alright don't you know how back in the days you colored and the things were on the lines you're coloring in the lines now I need you to use this pen tool on the lines please we did all of that and you're good it says press the control key and then you click the artboard anywhere after you click that artboard, it breaks your pen mark, and then you're going to click where it says start in that dot, and you're starting with another pen stroke. Okay? Um, you're going to move up to 
position two where the dot is and click that it makes a line in between and then it says to skip over position three and go to position four click position four and then it says um, you have to add a new anchor so what you're going to do is um, position the pen tool anywhere on the segment between points two and four anywhere pen tools over here then you're going to click anywhere on there so I'll just click right here and then click one time there's a blue dot you can't see, but we made an anchor point on that um, line. Then it says click the direct selection tool, that white arrow. After you click that direct selection tool, we're going to click that, hold it, and drag it down to the third point. Then let it go. All right, so I'm going to pick back up. It says click view on the application bar, and then go to pink. Since we're on pink, we're going to do some of the same stuff that we did. I'm sure you just have to click the pen, so let me just verify that. Click the pen tool. You're going to click where it says start, stay on the line, please, and just follow it all the way around to six. So I, I'm just clicking to make my points right there, and you're good. Most of you guys can just finesse this. You don't even need to watch the video, but I'm making a video anyway. All right, so you went all the way around. Switch to direct selection. We have that white. Fantastic. It says click to point three. I'll be over there. Go to point three. Press hold and shift and click point six. Go to click point three. And then it says um, hold shift and click on point six. So I made anchor points on three and six. All right. So let's click object on the application bar and point to path average. Object. Path. Average. After you do that, it says the horizontal option button. Then click OK. Hey, that's sexy. All right, so we did that over there. And after that, it says, oh, I remember this from like a couple years ago. All right, so it says click the horizontal. We did that. Two selected anchor points aligned on the horizontal axis. It looks like that. It looks like a, a ragged rectangle. Select both the start or end point and point four. So you're going to click start or end point. And then hold shift and then click point four. We have both of those over there, and you're going to do that again. You're going to go to Object, Path, Object, Path, and we're going to go to Average again. And this time we're going to go to Vertical. Nice. Looking kind of crazy. And then it says Select Points 2. Select both Point 2 and 5, and then use the Average Command to line points on the axis as shown so click two click point two then click point five shifts and shift all right I have two blues right there after we have that it says Use the average command to align the points on both axes as shown. So object path again. Then use the average command to align the points on both axes. Hopefully we click both and it pops up. Let's go. Hey, we're good. So we did the object path and we did both again. Hopefully you'll get that. I'm like half watching this um, Yachty video. Give me a sec. We're on a home stretch right now. We're doing mint. Switch up to the mint view. View, mint. All right, so we have our pen. Click the pen. We're going to start at the top of the diamond. So we're going to click one right there. Stay on the lines. Two right there. All right, I messed up a couple times. We're going to get back, though. 
All right, let's keep tracing this diamond over here. So we have one. Let's go with my pen over there. All right, so we have two. Oh, geez, hasty. Come on. All right, so we got the pen. We got one, two, three. Got these dudes talking about a dog. Four and five. There we go. That's set over here. Control. Click the green background. Click there and start them all over again. One, two, three, four, stay in the lines, and five. Fantastic. All right, so we made both diamonds over here. Sorry for cutting myself off, but this is like take 55. I want to click the selection tool. Direct selection is the white arrow. You're going to click that left anchor over here, and it changes to blue. See how these are white? Now that's blue. You're going to um, cut it. So edit, cut. I don't know why I didn't just have dudes deleted, but whatever. All right, on this second diamond over here, you're going to click that right anchor point. Click that. That's blue. The others are white, and you're going to cut that thing so it looks like this. Fantastic. So then it says select the top point on each path. You're going to click that right there one time. Hold the shift key down and click that other top anchor on the other one. All right, I had to click that thing, but as long as it's active, that joint don't look like it's active. There it is. Shift and click. There we go. Whoa. All right, so they're both selected. You see they're both outlined, and we're good. That means they're both selected. You can go up top like we did before. Object, path. You're going to, this time, instead of average, you're going to click join. Click that join over there, and ta-da, it's joined. Do the same thing on the bottom one. You're going to click that. Hold shift. Click that bottom anchor over there. All right, and then you're going to do the same thing. Objects, path, join, ta -da. So that's all good. I hope I'm recording. We're going to keep on going. All right. So while we do that, we're going to do a fill over here. The two bottoms are joined, the tops are joined. It says apply yellow fill to the object and save your work. You see how it says no fill? Click that one time. And then we're going to go to, let's double click this right here. If we double click the fill color, go to color swatches. And then you're going to look for something that says a yellow. Pure yellow. I, th I like yellow CMYK, but of course I don't see that thing. Click cancel. Choose a yellow. I don't care. I'm very particular. So I'm about to go over here and watch the drone say pure yellow. Out of pocket. Yellow is all set and we're all good. Um, have a good day.